Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me for the mod list of Solar Civilization. Um, a lot of people have been asking for this, so I decided I might as well make this video because I've been saying, yeah, I'll do it, and then kind of not getting around to it. Um, this will be kind of hopefully fairly brief, and um, more of a list than a review of the mods. I'm just going to basically list them, tell you what they do, and that's about it. So, um... I don't know what I go first. I've got the folder open. So the first on the list is B9 Aerospace, which right now all I have in the VAB because this is my uh, this is my career save. It, it, it's the kind of nice looking parts, nice looking plane parts like this, um, like this cockpit and this cockpit. There's a lot of cockpits it brings you, and I'll speak I'm unlocking more of them soon. Uh, this is quite good for space shuttles and stuff. There's also you know I'll keep that open so I can attach things to it. Uh, it comes with a whole bunch of things. One of the things I use most is this low-profile engine you may recognize from some of my landers. Um, it's fairly efficient and stuff. It's basically, um, yeah. Uh, but most of it, the, most of the things that it, it comes with is the kind of the nice-looking wings like this stuff. Um, I'm not sure how much I like them because they're quite thick, but, you know, they're all right. Uh, there's, the, you know, that kind of stuff and nose cones and all that. Um, yeah, I think that's about... Oh, and there's quite a lot of structural parts as well, I've oh, got. Uh, this is the kind of thing you'd get with cargo bays, you know. Um, I will think I'll put... Well, I'll put all the links in the description. Um, or as many as I can find. Yeah, that's where you get all the cargo bays. I only have this size right now, but that's really nice for shuttles. Um, and then there's lots of, like, fuel tanks that fit in with the plane parts. So, like, this is a fuel tank that's monopropellant. This is, like, there's LFOs, so, like fuel lockers, the dies there, they have all that kind of stuff, so you can build yourself a nice looking plane. I'll be uh, doing that kind of thing, so yeah, you know, you get the idea. Um, obviously I'm in VAB, so I can't really build a plane, but it's that's that sort of thing, and it comes with a few more engines and things, and it, that's um, where, like, the, I don't know how, I think I have any engines from that now, but that's where quite a few of the, like, jet parts come from, basically. Um, next is... Uh, well, uh, next would be deadly reentry. Um, that's obviously the thing that makes my ships burn up. Not many of them have so far, but actually quite a few things burn up in coming episodes. Um, basically, that the parts it comes with are effectively just you know heat shields. Um, so you've got kind of lots of different sizes of heat shields. You've got these really little ones, and then this sort of thing. And eventually, which I haven't unlocked right now, um, it comes with some bigger heat shields. It also has a few custom decoupers, which look quite nice. Uh, yeah, so that's, you know, deadly entry. Uh, next is, um, well, I'll get to, so I'm trying to think which ones are in the VAB. Oh, Kerbal Attachment System, which I've been using recently. Um, I'll demonstrate that a bit, in a, maybe in a bit, I guess. Um, that's, that allows you to, uh, take part, take small parts off ships. So, say, if I've got a light there or whatever, um, I could take... Okay, it's not selecting, but whatever. Oh, that's because it's a tiny light. Okay, all of these are tiny. Uh, but I could take, like, a light or an RCS port or batteries off or something and just move that. Um, it also comes with these little containers which allow you to bring a bunch of parts with you. Those are really nice. I really like them. Um, oh, jeez, there you go. Uh, it also comes with, a few, like, some winches. Uh, well, this is, this is these are pipes which I use in an episode which isn't out yet. But that allows you to connect craft on the ground, and it's quite a nice way to pump fuel between things. And then it has like um, some winches and you know hooker arms and these hooker. <laughs> uh, I said hooker. Um, and it also comes with some strut, some custom struts, which allow you to um, strut things in orbit, as I have in previous episodes. Uh, so yeah, it's basically just allowing you to build small things or repair things in orbit. Um, Next would be um, key thing. Uh, I'm not going to do a demonstration of that because I'd have to go and find some key thing, and I, you know, I'm busy. I have an exam tomorrow, but you know, uh, so that comes with these key thing tanks. Um, the main thing is obviously the drilling. I believe I've unlocked a drill, but I'm not actually entirely sure. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, I this isn't like such a full mod list because uh, it doesn't have all the parts, but it is a full mod list, just not of all the parts. Anyway. So yeah, it comes with, uh, this here is a converter, basically you land something on the surface where there is keythane, and you scan for keythane with one of these scanners, um, 
Yeah, that's a small scan, that's all I have right now. Uh, and then you land there once you've found some, um, which I'm doing on the moon right now. Then you use this to drill, obviously, it's the drill. Um, I'll just deploy that, you can take a look at it. Um, then it has various tanks, it has some really big tanks, and then you convert it using this, and then put it in a normal fuel tank. Or if you want, you can just throw kerbals in that, and then uh, it's called the Ker- Wait, no, stop! Because you just kill kerbal. Um, which is fine, because they're computer things. Um, next would be KW Rocketry, one of my favourite mods. Um, just because it has loads more engines. Uh, mainly, what I like most is the middle ground engines. Um, it has this, my favourite engine, what I use on my reusable rocket. 350 kilonewtons of thrust, there's nothing really in that kind of power band in the stock game. The Vesta engine, um, the thing taking my stuff out to Duna, that's a very efficient engine, 400 ISP, um, and 120 newtons of thrust, and so on. And it has basically a bunch of engines, I'm not going to go through everything, um, but it also has some, uh, you know, bigger fuel tanks, it has 3.5 meter parts, which isn't revolutionary anymore because, you know, of, uh, what is it, the, uh, the, well, the new NASA parts, but yeah, it basically has a whole bunch of engines. Um, it's just a nice way to, you know, add a few and a few nice parts of the game. Um, next up would be uh, MechJeb. I do use MechJeb uh, mainly for its kind of um, is like information about surface and delta V and things. It's quite nice um, and how heavy the vessel is. It's just so I don't have to calculate and uh, so many things. Um, and I and I would I could use f uh, Kerbal Engineer, but I do quite like the Translatron and just a few of the flight controls and. I don't really consider it cheating because you know a flight computer isn't so you know so it's it's I just quite like it and it also has a MechJeb pod I think but I haven't unlocked that yet so you know I'm not sure. Ooh, another thing uh, just really quickly about the uh, KW pack and the B9 pack is the B9 pack has these little nice looking RCS ports and the B9 pack uh, the KW pack has some bigger SAS. That's just something I thought I'd throw in there. Um, next. Uh, uh, TAC life support, basically that's why I can't send my Kerbals too far or they'll die, um, and that's why I have life support modules and things, that's basically all these like little life support containers, which comes in a variety of things, you can get com inclusive life support, you can just get food containers, water containers, oxygen containers, in different sizes and then some radial things, and eventually things to purify water, recycle air, and so on and so forth. Um, now I believe that's everything that can be covered in the VAB, so uh, I'll see you... Uh, it's probably best to t talk about this from a plane, so I'll see you in a bit from a plane. Right, I am back on the runway, um, basically just to demonstrate some of the things aren't just parts, such as Ferrum Aerospace. Um, Ferrum Aerospace is the realistic um, aerodynamics, which also is the thing that tears apart my craft, um, as this is experienced. Uh, this is a plane I'm working on, but we c you'll see that in a future episode. Um, you can probably guess what it does. Uh, but anyway, um, so I also use Kerbal Alarm Clocks, as I always mention. Um, this will all be in the description, but I thought I might as well, you know. Um, yeah, so Kerbal Alarm Clocks, which tells you, obviously, um, uh, where all these transfer windows are, and you can also set things like maneuver when your maneuver node for a certain craft is going to be, or an SOI change, or anything basically you can just um uh, you can you can just uh set alarms for things so to, it's good for managing larger space programs basically um there is also this ambient light thing which i have recently installed hasn't been in any episodes yet but it lets you boost the ambient light or darken it basically it's just nice when i'm on the dark side of a planet and it gets dark and then people complain um which is fair enough uh yeah tac life support this is just telling me how much stuff um, various crafts have. Um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'll show you some, you know, quick, um, uh, some some quick, oh, what is it, the Ferrum Aerospace stuff. Um, basically, I th yeah, I think that's all the mods. If there isn't, there'll be, like, extra stuff in the des description. There will be a li uh, link to all the places you can download it from. Um, but yeah, one of the fun things about New Ferrum Aerospace, which is one of my favourite mods right now, uh, these are K uh, B9 wings, by the way, and B9 wheels. They've got quite a lot of nice things. Um, so I'm going near Mark 1 right now, and FAR also gives you this nice little flight control. I'm going through high dynamic pressure. I decide, hmm, let's pull up. 
and then wings rip off and everything screws up. As I'm sure you've seen if you've been following the series. But anyway, um, this has, you know, probably been about under 10 minutes now, so I'll leave it here. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this. I hope it's been informative. Uh, all the links are in the description, as I have said. Um, sorry this has taken so long to come out, but uh, yeah, this has been the mod list for Solar Civilization, and this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.